today's earlier news concerning the unrest situation at Oyibo in River State. The Chief Security Officer, Governor Yesom Wike, has updated his interviewer in the person of Benga Aruleba of AIT News Station on some of the things he tagged on called for that has been going on at Odibu in a state which he is the governor. Governor Yesom Wike disclosed to the newsmen that there are shrines in Oyibo owned by IPOP members. When you go there, you will see IPOP flag and Kano's picture in the shrine. The governor vowed not to fold his arms and watch these people destroy his state. Not just destroying, but also annexing his state into what they are doing or what IPOP is doing. He told people that are lamenting over the curfew he imposed at Onyibo that it's for their own good and that IPOP must leave the place. Not Igbo, but IPOP, he insisted. On the international television, AIT, the governor asked why he would kill Igbo people in Oyibo, as many people alleged. He further asked why he will he kill Igbos in Oyibo and not kill the ones in Port Harcourt. That doesn't make sense, he added. After his interview, a lot of people poured out their, action, their reactions based on his speech. One Mr. Joshua N. Thompson said, I know the good and bad of my governor, and this is one of his good. Always protecting his people. All you poor people should know there is no smoke without fire. While A.B. Alec said, I like this governor's action. Igbos are peaceful, are peace-loving people. IPOP members are filthy terrorists that need to be dealt with, he says. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning you know, this particular news story as it were? So, guys, be that as it were, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? A lot of people are beginning or have been, you know, uh, faulting Governor Yesom Wike over the issues uh, the, that is ongoing in Oyibo in River State as it were. But however, just like somebody said, the governor definitely or somehow probab or probably might be privy to some information that the public, you know, are not aware of and uh, might have been taking his decisions based on those information that he possesses that the public does not. So, but be that as it were, the, 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 the issue here is his insistence on the prescription or enforcing the prescription of IPOP and insisting that IPOPs must leave. Now, IPOP and Igbos are similar or are synonyms as the way as the case may be. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but they are people, they are Igbo people. They, well, it can also be argued that not all IPOPs are Igbos and not all Igbos are IPOP as it were. So it is what it is. But based on what is going on in Oyibo in River State, don't you think that uh, the people of Oyibo, as it were, are not all IPOP members? And if he's saying that IPOP members should leave, then automatically to a very large extent, he, he's referring to some Igbos. It may not be all Igbos, but some Igbos, because it is the Igbo people that are known as IPOP members to a very large extent. I start to be corrected. So now, how does he identify those particular uh, Igbos or those particular IPOP members, regardless of who, which tribe they belong to or they are? How do we identify those IPOP members and how do they leave? How do you chase them away or how do you ask them to leave the state? That is a very huge task that you know the governor must you know find a way to go about and just like he has said the curfew he imposed is for their own good well in as much as it is for their own good but what about the activities of the soldiers that is actually really uh, telling on the people 
this is another issue that needs to be uh, discussed. You know, what of other that? What happens to that? What happens to those people? You know, the issue of you know the people of Obibo finding or complaining about bloodshed, maltreatment, inhumane treatment from security agencies is something to worry about to a very large extent. I stand to be corrected, but that is the truth. You know, you find have to find a way around it. How can the governor, how will the governor deal with this particular issue? Will he be able to uh, separate the IPOP from the EBOs? How does he intend to do that? He is faced with a huge challenge of uh, trying to, you know, find, uh, uh, yes, isolate or segregate or find out who the IPOP members actually are from the Igbos. There are Igbos who are from river states. So not all Igbos are IPOP and not, not all IPOP are Igbo. So it is what it is. He has insisted now or insists that the IPOP must leave the states. So the question now is how is he going to get that achieved? Well, let's take a few reactions and hear what people are saying concerning this particular news story as it is. Another person says, from the way things are, and from the way, the way things are actually going right now, Igbos must distance themselves from IPOP because they will only cause trouble for Igbos living in another land. Do you guys agree with this uh, opinion? Well, it remains to be seen. Wisdom is said to be profitable to direct. Do you think that um, the Igbos, or so to say, uh, IPOP members pose a threat to Igbos living in other particular, uh, other foreign land as it were? Well, it remains to be seen. Another person says, Igbos wants to annex river state by force as they dream of their Biafra. They tried before during the civil war and failed woefully. Nothing has changed. The same fate awaits IPOP. You don't force a people to become your subjects. That is delusional. Benin and Isham share every aspect of culture, but they are different ethnic nationalities. That Ikwere man bears Igbo name does not make him Igbo as it is. Okay, it is what it is. Guys, do you agree with this submission? But Thomas says, we can conjure the shrine just to justify his blood shedding activities. IPOP is not written in anybody's face. So stop killing your perceived enemies in the name of IPOP. There are so many dead bodies littered in various bush due to stray bullets from the military's shooting activities. Well, if this is true, then uh, it is sad and unfortunate and it is definitely wrong and not uh, right. We keep our fingers crossed and uh, see how things continue to unfold. Osita Clifford say, continue lying using the name of IPOP. What goes around definitely will come around. Okay, guys, do you think that is what is happening? Well, it is what it is. So, be that as it were, at the moment, the government needs to, you know, separate the wheat from the chaff. And uh, how does, uh, does he intend to do that is the major challenge that he is facing now. How does he intend to achieve it? How does he intend to separate IPOP from Igbos? Or how does he intend to separate Igbos from IPOP? How does he separate the wheat from the chaff? That is the, the tough job or the tough, uh, uh, yes, the tough job that is before the governor of River State. Because this situation, you know, can actually change things, turn things. And turn the people against him you know the internet is really really uh, a social a very massive tool that uh, the people employ so what goes on the internet you know has gotten the attention of people around the world that is just the truth but we keep our fingers crossed and continue to see how things unfold what is happening in Obi in Oyibo in River State is definitely something of great concern and that every uh, concerned person, every stakeholder, or any person, every lover of peace would uh, definitely uh, lend their voice to what is going on right now. Well, it is what it is. Drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. 
don't forget to subscribe to this channel please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now